So the weigh-in is done. Chris Eubank Jr. against JJ McDonough on the George Groves versus Callum Smith undercard. Of course, this is for the World Boxing Super Series final super middleweight. Um, so this will be the first fight back for Chris Eubank Jr. since he lost to George Groves on points in the semi-final of, of the World Boxing Super Series. He was, of course, a stand-in opponent if George couldn't make it or if Callum Smith couldn't make it to the final. So he's gonna be fighting on the card anyway. This is a tune-up. Now, JJ McDonough, he's 16 and four Irishman. He's a pretty decent fighter, but he should pose little to zero problems for Chris Eubank Jr. Even if Chris Eubank Jr. has learned nothing from that George Groves fight, he should still get through JJ McDonough pretty easy. So expect a pretty short night. Um, but I wanna see what kind of improvements Chris Eubank Jr. has made. Um, I don't want to be seeing this um, always throwing 100 punches per second on the bloody speed bags and whatever else. Don't care about it. It's his boxing skill in the ring. That's what we want to see, what the improvements are. Now, ultimately, I don't think we're going to see too much against JJ McDonough, but we will see it in December. We'll see how much Chris Eubank Jr. has improved. Now, he is sporting a beard. On this one it is over there in saudi arabia coincidental don't know um we know that his dad is one day is christian the next day is muslim the next day is jewish and so we don't know any idea is it a religious thing or maybe just coincidence he's just born a beard who knows but this will be an interesting one but as i said i expect chris eubank jr to blast him out early doors but come december when we see him in a big fight then that's when we expect to see Chris Eubank Jr. Has he improved? Now, as I said, because these guys are fighting on Friday in Saudi Arabia, and of course that'll be available here in the UK on pay-per-view, um, James DeGale will be fighting on Sunday over there in America um, alongside Joe Joyce, Cody Davis, and others, of course. Um, I heard that the Victor Ortiz versus John Molina Jr. fight, the headliner, is now off because we know that uh, Victor Ortiz is being questioned over some allegations of rape. So I think that uh, Figueroa has replaced him as the headliner. But no matter what, James DeGale is going to be on there. Coincidence, I've told you guys before that uh, Chris Eubank Jr. versus James DeGale will be on in December. And I was told by somebody who will definitely know. Okay, it's not a mate down the pub or anything. Not that I go down the pub, but anyway. So this is just a tune-up fight, much like it is for James DeGale. And then expect an announcement there on after for Chris Eubank Jr. versus James DeGale or James DeGale versus Chris Eubank Jr. depending on how they're billing it. Um, but this could also be in Brighton as well, so I hear. But don't know that for a fact or who the promoter is. All I know is December and these two guys will be fighting by all accounts. Anyway, so do you drop your thoughts below about Chris Eubank Jr. What do you expect from him? Do you expect him to go through JJ McDonough whether he's improved or not? Do you expect him to go through him quite comfortably without any kind of issues? Or do you foresee maybe JJ McDonough is much better than maybe I'm giving him credit for? Now, I'm certainly not saying that he's gash, nothing like that. Okay, I'm saying that um, when, when it comes to levels, I believe Chris Eubank Jr. is quite a bit above him. And I don't think we've seen the best of Chris Eubank Jr. yet. We know he looks spectacular when he's fighting lower, lower level opposition, but maybe ultimately against James DeGale. We'll have to really see how much he's improved. Is he binned off his dad and got got himself a proper trainer or anything like that we we'll have to wait and see what happens but anyway you drop your thoughts below about it all click that thumbs up and subscribe catch you all on the next video